Hi everyone, I'm Silly Rabbit, and welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia: The Dark Descent. Uh, yeah, so none of these open again. Ah, uh, thought I'd just. It's because I saved. What? 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 Don't do that to me, Daniel. Second of July, eighteen thirty-nine. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. Dun, dun, dun. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. So am I. I'm, I'm really, really worried about Herbert. I honestly thought something was going to happen as I picked up that crowbar. Something. It was not pleasant. Can I kind of, can I, can I, is this, all right, thank you. Oh. Ah! <laughs> right. No! <laughs> just, no. okay, right, I am going to just leave you alone rather than, I can't remember where I came from. Did I come from there? I must not go there yet. Let's go over here. Due to a broken lock. Find another way to open the closet door in the guest room. Hmm. That's a mild riddle. Maybe I can do something about that. Let's check in here first. No, no. No. Can't see. Alright. That's... Oh, come on. No, okay, you're just stuck. Go back. That sounded like a very weird kind of thing which... Oh, oh, oh okay, because I'm an idiot. That's that's why. Come on! Thank you. Pick. <sighs> oh, right, okay, that's why. Maybe, maybe there's something here? No? You're not a thing? Boop -a -boop. Oh, the look, there's some. Oh, yeah, I didn't have any of that. I really, I didn't. I really needed some of that. Um, it just says, fine. Whoa, 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 there's some crazy stuff going on right there. Oh, there's another night. 3rd of July. <laughs> Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colourful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Dun dun dun! Alright, well, I'm glad because that gave me some time to think. And I remember, <laughs> I've got a crowbar! Alright. Kablooey! The key. Please, let it be here. 
Well, that looks handy. Let's just have a wee look around, shall we? Shall we? Come, come. Oh my god. Come, come. Oh my god. Shut. Stay here. You have no means to defend yourself. That was not good. I was just trying to shut that door. And oh, just a scary monster turned up. Oh, monster. Go away. Uh. It sounds like it's still here. Oh, I'm too nervous to really go. Let's see. Move. What? What are these noises? God. Right. Fourth of July, eighteen thirty-nine. <sighs> it's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been moulded by a factory. This is all too strange. It sure is. It really, really is. Well. Oh, Hello. thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. What? <laughs> it's not that good if I can find it. Come on, pick up, pick up the key. Pick it up, thank you. Well, that was handy. Got the machine room key now. That's very handy because there's literally nothing else that I could think of to do. So, let's go to the back hall. Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Dun dun dun, right. Oh, 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 you bitch, don't, no, no, I just like walked out onto all that, that's not good. Oh, okay, this is the thing that is pissing me off about this game, is all of these doors. <sighs> Let's go to the machine room. Well, it's a good thing I've got a key for that. He flipped through the Book of Monarchs looking for etchings and counted. Nine different kings from all over Europe had been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. Oh, oh. <sighs> well, this place looks terrifying, doesn't it? Let's, uh, let's go in here and shut this door behind me. Talking very quietly, just in case. Just, just in case no one's to can hear me. Ah, oh, let's read 5th this. Of July, eighteen thirty-nine. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. 
The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. <laughs> okay, and with the end of that note is the end of this video. Remember if you if you like what you see, uh, remember to like and share. And if you want to see some more, remember to subscribe. And in the next video, we'll be looking around this machine room a bit more. See you in the next video.